Okay, and we're on. After many uh, technical difficulties, uh, welcome to the final of the uh, Old School 95 tournament. Uh, I'm here with uh, Ch Chan Sterling. From Hi! The <laughs> Hi. From the Twitch stream Haunted Hangouts, is that it? Yeah, you can find me on Twitch at Haunted Hangouts. Uh, also, Instagram primarily at Chan Sterling. Okay. And you do, you've told me you do some magic painting and cooking. It's a bipolar stream. Yeah, a little bit for everything, whether you uh, like to paint or eat, if that's everything. <laughs> okay, now I realize that uh, once, uh, that now I have to change uh, the orientation of uh, on window. Let's see. That seems better. <clears throat> okay, guys, let's go. Yeah. I appreciate before we even get started the uh, the play mats that we have here. Yep. I uh, I have the two player version of the uh, the Kalsa Brian version with the. You wanna go higher? Yeah. Yeah, Japanese hat. I, I'm an uh, enthusiast for Japanese hat. David, go. That's fine, yeah. Okay. All right. So Going for a D twenty to start with. It's ah sorry. Hey, it's nineteen. Can you see it? Uh yeah, you got a twenty sided, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah. I can roll that's a big roll to want. start with, 19. That's, that's, oh, that's like fine. a Do that that's confirmation time. almost. That's like good luck. Yeah, yeah. I don't It'll know what it is, but it's not 20. <laughs> no, no, it's <laughs> okay, not. <laughs> I'll play first, Antoine. Thanks for the good roll. Good All right. Uh, good luck. So it seems like Antoine will be playing first, and David will be on the draw. Yeah, I'll keep this. No, okay. Now, from what I can tell, it looks like David actually might appreciate being on the draw. Uh, with his aggressive deck, just being able to have a few more cards as opposed to being an extra turn might help him out. Really? Well, uh, if I have an aggressive deck, uh, I prefer to be uh, on the player, really. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess that is typically a good idea, but knowing what I'm seeing between the two different decks, I, I feel like uh, he's in okay. a real worry of running out of gas because well, right? of just the amount of card drawing that he doesn't have. Yeah, because uh, we know the deck list, of course, and uh, one is an aggressive okay, deck, the other is a combo deck, so okay. I guess it makes sense that yeah. the, the aggressive deck... Uh, Tiger, might be slower yeah. and therefore uh, uh, might want, want, want his, uh, okay. his few disruptive cards as soon as possible. Well, that's a, one way to start off a, a game. The classic uh, Taiga into Kurt Ape. That's going to be a good 2-3 on turn 2. Uh, Sapphire, sorry. <laughs> I usually don't play the Lotus in that mm. case. No, it seems like it's just asking for the Lotus to be destroyed. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you won't really uh, bluff uh, a counter spell with a lotus like that. Crack it for blue. Okay. okay. Oh, both both sides got their lotus <laughs> on the first turn. That's no. we've got this close this start. Merchant scroll. Merchant scroll. You got it. All right. So he's <laughs> going. That's a cool card. So I guess he, he will get an astrology goal. Probably. So oh Merchant yeah, that would make sense. Let's see Merchant scroll. Let's put it on screen. And cast it with the remaining uh, blue. You know? you know, I feel like Merchant Scroll is one of those cards that gets underrated. It, it, it survived even in Standard for many years. It kept getting a few reprints throughout time. Uh, and uh, it's just good. good. Obviously, it's letting him go and grab... Yeah. Uh, he grabbed, a, I'm guessing, Ancestral yeah. Recall with that. Yeah, of course. Really, Ancestral Recall. So that's free mana for three cards. That's fair, right? I, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I, I would pay it. 
no but, question. But really, he, he, he played two cards to, to get three, so it's not that incredible. But it's fluid. Two. It also helps him balance out, because I'm guessing he had a slower start to begin okay, with. Okay, there we go. He shows it, of course. Okay. He puts it on the display. Yeah. And we'll show you uh, the cards. Is that our Lapis Lazuli? No, no, yeah, no, no, that's uh, Lapis. So lapis uh, Lazuli, you're right. It's Lapis, but not Lapis. And, uh, lapis Lazuli Talisman is part of the cycle uh, of Ice cards. Which um, all lets you, you want to have a permanent uh, if you play a spell of the corresponding color. And untap a permanent. Now, what, okay. what okay. does he want to do with that? I mean, he could pay three mana to untap his Mox Sapphire. That's a, that's a good, good <laughs> that's way to... Thing. <laughs> I would that's... like to untap a, a library of Alexandria, yeah, please. For, one, for every spell. Okay. Yeah, there are a number of uh, okay. I, uh, cards I would love to get to use twice. Okay. I wonder, in David Craig's place, if you, if you can guess what, what Antoine's playing. I don't... I mean, you would have to have a pretty good idea of, of what okay. people are doing around, but... Just from a control standpoint, you you look at cards like uh, mm -hmm. uh, Icy Manipulator or or any of your other control cards, Library of Alexandria. There are a lot of things you would love to get multiple activations out of. Brainstorm. But as for anything that's a bit trickier, I, I don't think so. Yeah. I wouldn't imagine. That's good. All right, a little out of focus. Looks like I'm seeing a blue spell. Yeah, that's brainstorm. Well, I okay. guess everybody knows it, so I won't put it on display. No, <laughs> but that lets you see uh, much further, three cards deeper. I I think brainstorm is is one of the defining differences between, say, the old school ninety three ninety four and old school ninety five, because. There's a disparity when you don't have the power of Ancestral Recall just because of cost. But being able to have Brainstorm, four Brainstorms in your deck, really changes how even a budget blue deck is going to play. Yeah, you have, you have cheap cards that are excellent, like Demonic Consultation and Brainstorm. I prefer Demonic Consultation for myself, but a brainstorm, of course, is excellent if you can uh, if you can get uh, a shuffle effect. Oh, in fact, if you combine it with demonic consultation, okay. because both combine very very well. Yes. All right. So this is a a risky gamble. He played Antoine played the Howling Mine, so that way he can try to dig a little deeper, looking for his combo pieces. Mm -hmm. But that gives David a lot of gas and yeah. an aggro deck. Uh, he's got he's able to attack with the Land of War Elves and the Curd Ape, oh, and he's still two. got five mana sitting on the table yeah. after a second Curd Ape. Yeah, he's, he's got a three turn clock for now. So Antoine's better set things up. Because now, yeah, th yeah, three turns, that's all he's got. Until, unless he yeah. plays other oh, stuff yeah. with that five red mana he gets sitting there. <laughs> So what's that? I don't see. Hmm. A second? Oh, that's not good. A second lapis, let's do the talisman. Oh. With two talisman. Mm -hmm. Six to activate. Ah. He won't get mana burned. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just somewhere to put his mana. Well, actually, right now, uh, we don't have uh, mana burn in this version uh, of old school 95. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two more turns, ish. Actually, really, only one more turn. You have to think one more turn because he hasn't yeah, played course, a lightning bolt just or a fireball, a fireball and, and anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, just a fireball or anything. Yeah. Oh, David's got something up his sleeve, though. I'll this for three red. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that makes things yeah. clearer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six mana fireball, six damage fireball. Taking okay. Antoine down to four. Well, it has to be a pretty good turn, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, can Antoine see anything in this two cards from the uh from the Howling Mine? Well he has to try something now. No, never. I'll go for uh... Transmute artifact. Sure. Oh, he's gonna transmute artifact, uh -huh. turning the one talisman into something else. 
So Talisman is going to be two cost. So he can dig through for quite a bit else in his deck at two cost. Yeah. Time board. Time board. Oh, who'd have thought? <laughs> <laughs> we knew. Yeah, essentially, you know, with with really? Time Vault being restricted, those three transmutes are just okay, other Time Vaults. That's that's what they are for him. Yes, Twiddle. And a Twiddle. Mm, okay. Okay. Twiddle Vault. All right, so he's got one more turn. So he's got himself yeah. a turn. Yeah. Two cards. His deck's full of artifacts. He, he may not have blue spells to cast. Well, a twiddle would be good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> twiddle is, uh, is, is equivalent to four cards and two turns. Right. Now, the other thing about this, too, with the talisman, correct me if I'm wrong, he could twiddle, take an extra turn, and then untap the talis uh, tap the t time vault and yeah, have it, two extra mm, turns stacked. Absolutely, that, that's what I meant, yeah. Because uh, in between uh, the resolution of, of the trigger and the twiddle itself, you can you can tap the, the time vault, of course. So with one only mine out, if he has the mana, okay. one twiddle would be four cards and two turns. Transmute artifact. Yeah, at this point, he okay. may have the lock. So this is it looks like so, I can play so that's a good three, so that's a thing. And he doesn't need a twiddle. He can oh, can okay. tap with a transmute artifact. Right. What is trans Antoine? Right. Because any blue spell will go ahead and let him. Okay. Another thing is he doesn't okay. actually need to sacrifice yeah. a card yeah, with a transmute artifact. He can just put a he can just search for for something and in fact he can fail to find. Can just play it at, as a time walk, <laughs> a five mana time walk. And fetch uh, mana crypt. Okay, mana crypt. Oh, hey, that's wow. Well, I guess. Oh, but that's. Has... I don't know. Maybe maybe he has another uh, transmute artifact because he, he can't afford much uh, much pain. No, okay. that's dangerous because that's only a couple coin flips so, that you can lose. Crypt ability. Right. Uh, coin flip. Absolutely. Yeah. Coin flip. Yeah. Coin flip, I, uh... yeah. If I draw, I will put my clip on this four player, and six. Right. I lose three points. Okay. Even numbers. Okay. Okay. Oh, so he's gonna roll it's the die three. for the coin flip. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so and draw, it looks like he does not take draw. damage from it, so that's good for him. Wow. Yeah, that's only two, two, uh, I guess, heads, or two coin. Uh, Coin flip losses, and he's yeah, dead. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. That's three points of uh, damage or left loss, I don't remember. Damage, three points I think. of damage. Yeah. That's a that's a gamble you got to take there. You, you wonder what, what he was, what exactly his, his game was there, going well, for a bigger what, explosive. It depends what, what he has enhanced, because uh, he didn't need, like I said, with transmute artifact, you can just play it, and you, and two you shuffle your library, and that's Activate. it. You don't really need to find something. Azuri. Oh, he, he wanted it for the recall. This one, and now... This way he can turn some of his less exciting cards into, I guess, more transmutes, or twiddles, recall. or... Ancestral recalls. Okay. Really? Okay. What did you discard? Um, Candelabra of Tapnos. So oh, he's oh, ditching oh, oh, his okay. Candelabra of Tanos, using the recall to get his this Ancestral is. Recall back. Huh. Okay, extra turn. Same deal. He is desperate for a win condition. Ah. Feel lucky tonight. And if you want to draw the next one, I have. Okay, that's a good okay. dice. Always free. Yeah. Flip the coin also. <laughs> it's his best friend right now. No, it's you, okay. you call the odds like and you, you never lose okay. life. Okay, I understand. Draw, draw. So. I'll cast Ancestral Recall, targeting me. And you know it's probably okay, crushing, because David is sitting there, and odds are he's got a <laughs> Lightning Bolt, an Chain time, Lightning, so and Incinerate, ready to go. He just needs to be able to untap once. Ah, yeah, that, that's the thing. That's the thing. Combo, good combo deck. It's usually okay. beating you one turn uh, before yeah. you, two. you kill it. Uh, 
if you're playing aggro, that's how it goes usually, yeah. Now with two Howling Mines, he should be able to dig out his wing condition pretty, pretty easily. Um, oh, we're stooling mines out. He still uh, needs some mana, because uh, it looks to me like his win condition okay. is going to be usually something so, like you've seen, the, you've seen what he's discarded? A Mahamodi Jin, yeah, which discarded. I would normally assume is what he would be playing to finish the game up. Absolutely. I think that's his win card. Yeah, but it's, it's a 5, though. <laughs> so it's still <laughs> techno damage. Okay. The dice can do it. Okay, so three else on the three. My, uh, second. But it's going to stay uh, odds for him, I guess. Second one. Yeah, I, I, I w I'd love to know what his, his current strategy is going with uh, discarding the Mahamodi, because he has to get more turns of damage blue. through Good than nice. losing life. Because uh, Mahamodi is a four-turn clock against the aggro deck. But that's two more. potential losses of uh, damage, good. unless he transmutes the Mana Crypt away. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, of yeah, of course. course. He had it covered. Of course he... Sacrifices the crypt. Oh, furthering mines. If yeah. I'm not mistaken. That's what it looks like. Oh, and he has another turn. Thanks to the Lapidus League. This is the beginning I of got the very, end. Very lucky with those mana crypts. Yeah, I think I mean, this I'm is one of those four. positions <laughs> where. Right. I mean, bad. you just kind of say, Can you show me yeah, your combo? Show me what you're going to do to me. <laughs> do you have anything you can do? But. Okay, so I have. Uh, card, uh, and, <laughs> I need to the... and now it's a bit of a solitary exercise. Right. One. one, two, three, four. But now with drawing that many cards a turn, he has to worry about can he actually get the right amount of damage through before he decks himself. Okay. Because he has gone, he's gone through at least half of his deck at this point, between the Howling Mines, the Ancestral Recalls, and the Transmutes. I don't know, maybe, but, uh, well. I guess Twido. He's uh, the first and, uh, of his group, so I guess uh, uh, I guess his, his deck is functioning uh, so more or less uh, two, correctly, so we'll see. Yeah, put the dice here. And I don't know what I'd put uh, as a win con in such a deck. Oh, I guess he could be searching for the ever important time twister to just uh, start back over. I forget that that's always a, that's always an option. No. Anyway, I guess he will just jam a, a mammoth gin and hope to have enough turns to enough time to to kill his opponent because he's, he's drawing four cards per turn. Four. And he's, he's definitely uh, collecting a, a nice set of uh, mana there, so he can do a whole lot of stuff. And I believe he's set up, he actually has an extra turn on the clock, even without using the Time Vault this turn. Which I believe is what the red die there is signifying for us. Yeah. Six. Six? Is that a Mamuti? Just Mamuti Jin. Aha! There we go. Stylish. Okay. Mamuti Jin has the wind gun. He's a he's a classic creature. I don't see getting. You just don't see him swinging across as much as he used to. A lot of times, you just see like something like an air elemental, or even in the deck, you're using Sarah Angels instead of the Mahamodi. But there's something classic about him. I love seeing him fly around. Yeah, and it makes sense to. Uh, there was a, a post by uh, Brian Weissman uh, not that long ago, and. Uh, in his current version of the deck, uh, he's uh, okay, 
the Shivan yeah, Dragon, simply, simply uh, Shivan yeah. Dragon as the wind card. Probably. Well, because it says uh, almost everybody know, plays a Psionic Blast, which is an exaggeration, but still. In blue, if you want a creature that resists to Lightning Bolt and Psionic Blast, I guess you go for Marmachi Jin. Yeah. Okay. All right, it looks like David went ahead and uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. scooped there. He saw the <laughs> clock and he said, Well, let's go ahead and see if I can race you to the next one. It's very nice. I like it. <laughs> if you, you, you needed to go off that turn. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. And I, I needed actually to to only win one. Uh, okay, we'll have a look at uh, uh, Antoine Lamun's uh, deck list. Yeah, another card to get rid of. of it Absolutely. So. But still, yeah. Uh, One of the first things, uh, yeah. looking through the deck, the first thing that I noticed <laughs> that he did four. not go get in that situation three, but, uh, was the Mirror Universe. That's what I was I really was hoping three, was going to show up. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, we have the die at end of phase rule. So he could have died with his uh, uh, Mana Crypt and then exchange life. That's totally yeah. possible uh, in this version uh, of Old School 95. I would have liked to, to see that. I think that would have been a little more stylish win than the Ma yeah. I'm not sure of the language, but I think uh, many of his cards have in, are in Chinese. Now, don't ask me if that's Chinese traditional or, or, or simplified, but I think that's Chinese. They're very sharp. I like that they match across, too. Yeah. If he's got one, four versions of Twiddle, they're, they're all like, appear to be like Chinese fourth Twiddles. Now, the first thing I noticed is the card uh, that I, I didn't know, and I think you, you didn't know either, which is Time Bomb in the, in the sideboard. Uh, I'm not sure what he, he intends to do with that. We'll have to ask him. Maybe we'll see. I don't know. Other than that, uh, I'm very happy. Uh, it's a very innovative deck. Uh, a new uh, of possible new possibilities for Twiddle Vault uh, in old school ninety five, but I didn't know about this one. Well, you know, time bombs it, it, it's useful because when he's taking his infinite turns, if his opponent was able to get the heads up on him and have a Sarah Angel or their own Mamori Jin that's untapped, he needs to get that killed before he can move forward. Now he's playing boomerangs and a couple other spells, but I, I guess that's what he needs in case they happen to have lots of little things. Because uh, mm -hmm. maybe when he gets the Time Vault and Twiddles, he doesn't have an, an infinite loop of turns, but he just needs two or three to take out two Lana War Elves and three uh, Curt Apes. I guess it, it could combo with Mirror Universe too, because it like, deals damage to both players. That's true. But that, that seems difficult to play against uh, an aggro deck. I, I... I'm not sure. I don't think he will uh, side it in. We'll see. Yeah, I, I, it might just be one of those, I don't really side much out of my deck, and I wanted to put something fun in the sideboard that makes <laughs> us question it. Ah, yeah, may, maybe I should overthink it. Yeah, maybe. I also appreciate seeing serrated arrows. Uh, once again, the de against the decks in this format, you're going to use serrated arrows against. It's just so slow. Um. Now, if he was playing something that had Wrath of Gods, something to really help him level, you know, even the field before the weenies come back, I just I don't see him sighting in serrated arrows a lot. Yeah, it, it, it's very good against Sly, but um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I like it. I have good memories of playing Necro with serrated arrows, so I yeah. like the card. But I don't know. He did well in the in the, in the round, so I guess that's great. Okay. Yeah. I will tell them to go to start. Okay, guys, you can go if you're ready. Okay. Yeah, ready. All right. Looks like they're almost shuffled back up and ready to get moving. Okay, I'm good. It is important to note that it, it really was that last turn. If da if David had had one more untapped step, he would have won that ma won that game. I'll keep this 
Sloan and Antoine. Uh, me too. Okay. I've got Tyga, Kurt A. Your turn. Okay. Now, if you're David, what do you sideboard in? Alexandria, Alexandria. Yeah, very nice. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't looked at, at, this, uh, at this deck list. Maybe we could uh, look at that. Okay, at okay. Kurdic Attacked. Let's have a quick look at David Craig's list. It's your no, it's not. So this position. one, you have for one green, sacrifice it, and... Destroy target artifact. Okay, so end of your turn. I'll take one go. Okay, there we have it on screen. Okay, in the sideboard, I see Blood Moons. No, not at full. Mana Barbs. Mana Barbs is a poison. You'll do very well against that. Free Red Elemental Blast. Detonate. Shatterstorm. And the Shatterstorm, yeah. Shatterstorm could be a bit slow, but uh, okay. why not? Maybe he's gone. And pass. Okay. I also like, he does have a first turn scavenger folk, or second turn scavenger folk, which will help him pretty significantly. And the answer is hard to find. Ah, right. And it's in play. All attack three. Okay. And life is unfair because Antoine's has the library of Alexandria in play. I don't know how many cards he has in hands, but. And I will uh, chain lightning you. Hmm. Okay. David David's not wasting any time. Yeah. He's going to. <laughs> he he can't, can't let to... it get any close. No, you can't afford it. You got 12, I think, right? Yep, correct. It's your turn. Uh, and, the and he's also baiting at this point because if he can force Antoine to counterspell or, or cast any spell to, to disrupt his damage, he can remove the Library of Alexandria advantage. Yeah, every time you force your opponent to to go down to to five cards, you 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 you're winning. You're keeping your winning position. I think this, in this hand, looks a little bit more like what David's probably used to. He's only running 17 lands, plus the two on-color moxes and a black lotus. So the last turn, where he had six, uh, like four or five lands on the board, is probably a little unusual for him. Yeah, that, that seemed like a bit much, yeah. I agree. <clears throat> Mana vote. Yeah, that's power. Boku power. Another good twiddle target, but also another thing that if he gets sitting down to three or four life and starts taking infinite turns, it's a little, little okay. scary. Yeah, yeah, it's risky. You have to have good nerves to play such deck, yeah. I think that's one of the fun things you do see in our in the old school formats in general. You, you play a lot of decks that are just as dangerous to you as they are to your opponent sometimes. Uh oh, oh, okay. that's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> wow! I was still ready for this to go on another turn, and there goes three lightning bolts in two turns. That'll shore up uh, half your life total pretty quick. Yeah, there you go, Library of Alexandria. Wasn't enough. Okay, let's have a better look at uh, David's list, maybe. Uh, I have to say, I'm not a fan of Stormbind. I think the the card is is not really appropriate to the to the plan. No, it, he. I guess the idea is that if he draws lands at the end, he can turn them into something. Yeah, but, but that's Storm... not the plan. That's not the plan to go to the end. You know. No. So that's the thing. That's the thing. That's why I dislike that card. Dislike what I mean. I, I feel like I would prefer just about anything, an Earthquake in that role. Absolutely, a Dyson to great. Just something that does something, you know. Nanamjin, I don't know if he has the mana, but counted. Only he Free even... Forest, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, he could even risk something like a Gazban Ogre. Just another one drop, another creature to keep, because he's on such a low curve. Yeah, and he has so much burn. All the incinerates. 
massage troll up uh, are sad. <laughs> I like to play such trolls, but in this format, uh, I guess I shouldn't play them. No, incinerate does change change how disco is going to work. It's a lot of burn that, that that deck. It doesn't really have all that much creature. He's been lucky every time he's had the, the cut up uh, first turn. It wasn't enough game one, but that's quite lucky to have them uh, two times cons consecutively. I'm also intrigued by the killer bees. I know there aren't a lot of flying creatures that oh, he has yeah. the options to, but he just doesn't have a lot of mana to sink into that. Well, uh, he has the pen lanes. He has four Capluz and Forest. So that's uh, like, uh, yeah, 12, 13, 13, 13 green sources. Yeah, I agree. I guess. Even to cast the, the killer bee is not good. Killer bee is not a good card. And to boost it, you will have to be lucky. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't agree with that choice. I think he almost could have. Those are those are things that either are pet cards to me. Like he wants to play with them. Like Granite Gargoyle too. I want to play with Granite Gargoyle. It's a it's a cute card. Uh, but I feel like if you knew had a better idea going into the meta, you could even start with something like Shatters in your main deck because. There, you know you're going to run up against a lot of powerful artifacts or even a stone rain to stop up you know, all the lands that we know people are going to be playing. Well, he, he doesn't uh, himself, David, doesn't do it, but uh, usually there's always a Mishra's Factory. Uh, and if there's not, okay if there's no, no Mishra's Factory, uh, there's always I, something. I'm okay. I don't know uh, mm -hmm. if it's okay. Yeah, we'll give them the go. They uh, want to play. So <laughs> They're excited. Okay. But you know, you know, we're we're talking about what he has in his sideboard and his deck, but it's obviously done well for him. Okay, guys, you can play. Okay. Uh, sorry, Chan, you were saying. I, I was saying, you know, it's obvious we we're, we're critiquing his different choices, but it seems to have worked out for him. I would love to hear yeah. about if if he was able to actually resolve the stormbind and if he was happy with that. Yeah. Well, my my idea is stormbind. You've played three mana and a card, and you've done nothing. So you have to play two, two more mana and another card to deal two points of damage. That's five mana, two cards to deal two. So that's was it a bit that sounds bad to me. No, no, no. This is all my collection. It seems like he's really hoping to go for a stormbind into like a wheel of fortune and a channel, and just hope to finish it up in one last round or whatever. I think it's it's looks right. Yeah. I uh. The unlimited one night, I actually don't get out very much, but I do prefer unlimited power to the black border and stuff. Wow. So, great. Yeah, I, I, I'll play this. Okay. You want to scry? Yeah. All right. So, David Mulligan, it looks like, down I to six. Because I, sure I saw that scry. How much. Oh, two mana sources, but nothing to start his his fight. That's gonna make it hard for him. Okay. Oh, that's not a good sign. No creature. But he's he's much of a burn spell, a burn burn deck, yeah. Antoine, Antoine's picture seems frozen. That's not good. Yeah. Because he played the Ancestral, and he responded with the Incinerate, but... I guess, can you can you stop playing? Because uh, the picture is frozen uh, by Antoine's. Okay. David, you can still uh, see mine, though. No, I actually, it's frozen for me, too. Uh-huh. Fuck. So I can see myself, but it's not really helping. No. I can see David also. Um... Should I try to refresh it? Well, if you refresh... Yeah. Well, okay. What, what's up? Okay, we, but while we... Okay. Play my land. Now we have a connection. I'm gonna tap it for holding mine. Chan, you still here? Yes, I'm oh. good to go. 
Okay, everybody's here. That's all right. It has been a long term. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of thinking. God. It was two cards and complaints. All right. All right. So he now he's he's got three mana sources, but still no creatures. Uh, this is one of those situations uh, where you kind of have to be delicate about the Howling Mine the because uh, <laughs> something like this will happen. Too, right? Gives your opponent an extra card. He essentially time walked in yeah. on that. For a trigger vote, Howling Mines is the nerf of the wards. Right yeah. It's absolutely crucial. That's terrible. So on the one hand, he has no creatures, but losing the Holy Mine is terrible too. Now the detonate also pinged him for two afterwards, correct? Yeah, yeah correct. All right. So it's going to get him down. So it, 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 it keeps with the plan. It's good. I, I like detonate. I think it's a bit underplayed. I like to play one in, a, in that kind of a red-green deck. And it, it just will help you, you know, your opponent, it takes out Moxes Mana crit. just for one red. <laughs> two blue, uh, two colorless, sorry. Well, it usually won't kill a, a Mishra's uh, Factory, so I guess that's why it's not played uh, very much in 93, 94. But I really I like it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Maybe now they're going to the try to race. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that 5-6 that is going to be hard for that Weenie deck to deal with. So I didn't get to see. Is that off uh, a Mana Crypt? What is it's that? off a Mana Crypt. Oh. Okay. So now there's a clock on both sides. <laughs> so I guess he's taken five and he's going to take one point half per turn on average. <laughs> yeah, about there. Unless he's as unlucky as he was lucky cool. the first time around. Yep. Yeah, David does not want to have to use burn spells on the mob. Ah, uh, he's killing the mob. But he has to. Please, yeah. Okay. He doesn't have much in hand. How many cards do you have? Nothing on board. Okay. Uh, your turn. Okay. No, it wasn't. Oh, picture force and kill me. Kill me already. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, Antoine, no. I think I uh, we, we both have people. Antoine, your picture is frozen again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so... Antoine, can I roll this time? Yeah, for sure. So what's okay, going so on is Chan has no view, because uh, apparently uh, the system doesn't work if we are too many uh, in the same room. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to I'm describe blessed. things. I'm just blessed. Yeah, you are. Bro. So they just rolled the dice for mana crit. I'm sorry, I didn't see if. Oh. Okay. Connection. Connection is back. Okay. All right. oh, I got you back. I got you back. Okay. Great. 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 Um. I'll go. Recall. Okay, so he plays a recall. So at this point, the recall, he can still get his Ma Modi, which he had to spend yeah, two cards not. to get back, so maybe. Get yeah, but that's, that, that that's not sense. the play. He has a mention no. scroll, apparently, in the... No, how he sacrifices it. And cast it on myself. He had an Ancestral from earlier in the game, so that's also a good pick. One, two. Okay, I'm not sure what he discarded. But there's an ancestral recall on the table, so I'm guessing it is drawing. And, uh... Uh... Yeah. Oh, I got you back. Okay. Uh, and cast. I think the Zulika is. Okay. Go. Oh. I've got Pendlehaven, 
Yep. Okay, so David plays a pendulum heaven. Channel. Channel. Whoa. I channel. wonder what he could want. Oh, channel play. 18. And he Is he channel fireball? Knife, and that's it. <laughs> You know what's Channel yeah. Fireball for the win? Channel Fireball for the win. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and Poor Antoine has the uh, uh, a blue blast in hand. But he has no mana. He doesn't have the mana for that. Because he tapped everything out for the He tapped out for to play uh, Lapis Lazuli for this man. Yeah. Last mm. game, um, when you attack me for little, I had a. Wow, well, that's that's the so that's the I danger against the deck with green and red in it. At any uh, point, you could get channel fireball. I, I also had, uh, I'm actually not a fan of, of channel, but well, of, of course, when it works, it's and I wasn't spectacular. On top. So I could have maybe. So a we problem, managed to that show that it time, so. somehow. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> with great games. Yeah, it's a, a technical difficulties or two. Uh, I, I, bought in four, I, don't I don't remember how much was yeah. obviously. Uh, and one. Uh, um, but we got there. Tabernacle. That's what we some got work. there. They're showing the sideboard, so okay. they have the, the blast. But I'm not, I'm not sure it was the right. David is showing uh, Shadowstorm yeah, and the Tonight. Mana Bows. He, he had sided in the, the Mana Bows, of course. Great stuff. Mana Bows is a nightmare. Yeah, this is what I Oh, I love it. mana barbs. I, I run that in my uh, mono red artifact like yeah, I think I goblin. Was too greedy because um, uh, this game I have hydroblast in my hand, but uh, just um, like and even for so what's the guy's game. name? Um, so architects, saying, oh, goblin architects, all, not architects. Orcish mechanics. That's the one I'm looking for. Hand, so I will... oh, Orcish so mechanics deck. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I run mana barbs yeah, in my I sideboard mean, there, uh, just because you just want to jam as much damage onto control decks as possible, and it's a it's a good way to do it. Yeah. Well. Top deck and a channel to win the game isn't a bad, is pretty lucky. So, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes risks pay off. I got the. Exactly, because early pressure, early malamotigian, it, it's a face six playing. I mean, you know, it's one David of David is being a uh, humble. Uh, it's, it's enough. I mean, if you didn't have. Saying this, is being low key uh, with uh, the channel. And lighting ball. Anyway, Which uh, might be a bit true. Again, I get to one top, and then I have a hydro blast in my hand. Anyway, about, about but mana bars, the thing is. Yeah. Many yeah. decks where you you yeah. want that effect, it's, it's not always that easy to get the to, to four mana. That's it. Okay, fuck it. Let's I find many uh, times the decks, uh, aggressive decks, who want that kind of effect, they That's, they stop the curve at three and have troubles to which four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Which is what I the got, nice thing about the uh, fun, so. an artifact like it's mechanics it's deck with mm -hmm. Atog is you're running right, mana yeah. vault. <laughs> Ah, Which makes it a lot easier to drop that mana with those mana barbs. Okay, so you can drop a. Uh, well, yeah, you can do that turn you know, three or was, something like that. It was clear that yeah. Some mix of creatures, and I decided to go heavy on the. Burn and then you can just shoot the. Uh, yeah, of course you yeah, shoot the vault. The, I wanted to try and get more red cards in the instead of having to worry about untapping it. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Again. Mana vault is one of the you most uh, underappreciated uh, yeah. cards in the format, I think. Oh, I totally agree. I, I think that the ability to play so many of them, and most people will run a couple, but they don't run as many as they should, because there's so many cards that you just... You have cards like Recall that have X's in them that most decks play. Uh, a lot of things ca you know need so many extra colorless mana, and it helps you get, like you just said, the rest of my deck is two and three drops, but I play one... Or I just play Mana Barbs as my four spot, and... Manavolt lets you get there. Patiently through all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely. Yeah, you too, you too, man. Was... Okay, so I guess it's time to wrap up. Thanks for being part Thanks of for everybody's watching. Yeah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks a lot. Time. Sorry yeah. for the disconnections. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll get it figured out for the next one, I guess. That was a uh, yeah. That was an experiment, and uh, we'll we'll do better next time. Would be hard to to do worse anyway. Yes. <laughs> Mm, okay, but it's close to the border. All right. Well, thank you for having me. I, I appreciate yeah, being here. It was yeah. fun to fun to hang out with you guys. Yeah, and uh, once again, your Twitch is Haunted Hangouts. Oh, yes. Hangout. Was fun. Hangout. Or one. Hangout? Just one. There's just the one. Okay. Enjoy with your son and and hopefully uh, other games. Uh, we'll All right. Well, I, I guess I'll be uh, seeing you soon. Yeah. See you. Thanks a lot, Tom. Bye. Yeah. Take take care.
I I don't know what I'm gonna brew. Uh, I don't think I will keep with this one because I mean the whole point of, of it is it's changing. Even I think it is a good deck. I could tune it and you know map, practice it. But uh, okay, so I, I will try something new. I think anyway. It's cool to uh, see Titan Ball play again. Yeah, 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 that's it. It's that's a funny funny car. I love it. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you next time. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Okay, take care. Bye. David? Oh, pardon.